Good evening, everybody. Welcome to your Tuesday evening Facebook Live. My name is Sarah Edwards. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I come to you guys live every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 to show you a fun new project. Um, so last week, this week, and probably next week, I will be live Tuesdays at 7, but on Thursdays, I'm going to have to move it up until about 9. I try to shoot for 9. Um, I'm working a few extra hours on my outside job, so I am working the next couple Thursdays. So I will see you this Thursday at 9 instead of 7. So hopefully you guys are having a great day. Do you guys remember back in the beginning when I started Facebook Lives, um, I would do them in our pajamas. So it was our Tuesday morning pajama Facebook Lives. Well, today I am in my pajamas. <laughs> it doesn't happen very often that I'm already cleaned up after dinner or before dinner and ready to do my Facebook Live. But I was like, you know what? I'm not going to put regular clothes on. I'm just going to do my Facebook Live in my pajamas because really nobody's even going to notice unless I say something like I totally just ratted myself out. But I am super comfortable, super relaxed. And as soon as the Facebook Live is over, I am heading to bed because it's been a long week and it's only Tuesday. Good evening, Darlene. Welcome. So hopefully you guys are having a great, it's a good week. I can't complain, but it's just super busy. Hopefully you guys are having a great week as well. So today's project is definitely a stretch. Um, I, if I had had the fishing set that's in the new catalog, it probably would have been a tad bit easier, but I am going to show you that you don't always have to have the exact set that has the exact sentiment that you need that you can kind of rotate some stamp sets to get the sentiment you want. It's a little bit nutty, but it is super cute. And there was a little method behind my madness. And once I point you down, I'll show you what I was talking about. Um, yes, Darlene, it has been a long week and it's only Tuesday. Good evening, Marie, welcome. Thanks for joining me. If you're just logging on, say hi so I know you're here. Um, I am going to go ahead and point you over. We're only going to make one card today. And the only reason why we're doing one is I technically only need one Father's Day card. Well, two, I should say. Take that back. Totally back step. I do need two face I do need two Father's Day cards. One for Antonio and one for Bo. And I already pre-made the one for the Facebook Live. So that's why we're only making another one. So I now have one for Antonio. Okay. That is the little method behind. Good evening, Marie, or Mary, welcome. I'm just gonna make sure we are live on my Facebook before we get started. And there, oh, it was there a second ago. There it is, okay. So let me bring in the catalog. So if you happen to have the Gone Fishing bundle, you really only need this Happy Father's Day. Um, I know I ordered this because this is going to be one of the retreat make and takes, the summer retreat make and take packs. Um, I just can't remember if it's in a safe spot or if it's still on order and hasn't quite arrived. So I do know I ordered it. I just don't know where it's at right now. So if you do have this, you will want to just use that Happy Father's Day. But if you don't have it, don't stress because I am going to show you some fun different ways. Okay, so I wanted to use the Silly Goose and once I show you the card, it'll explain why I picked the Silly Goose. And I really liked a Silly Goose told me it's Happy Father's or it's Father's Day. So I masked off the Your Birthday, but then I got thinking I really wanted to use the Sending a Big Honking and you'll know what I'm talking about in a second. Um, Happy Father's Day. So we are using this set. We're going to be masking off some of the sentiments. And my original set, I used this Father's Day. And I masked off the top of it. But for the card I'm going to do on the Facebook Live, I wanted the happy, sending a big honking, happy Father's Day. So I am using three different sets to create one card. So you don't always have to have exactly what everybody is doing on Facebook or the pictures that you um, have seen. If you have different sentiments in different sets, you can totally use that. So that's kind of 
my thought process behind this card. So here is the card we're going to be doing. So this is the one that I did originally. So a silly goose told me it's Father's Day. So why I did this is at Starbucks, they have this gift card that says Honking Cool Dad. And I thought it was perfect for our little goose stamp set. So that's kind of what prompted me to do this card. So with all of that being said, I did use the new um, basic 3D embossing folders to just put some polka dots on the back. Um, this is not in the catalog. It is an online exclusive and you get three um, uh, embossing folders in the set. So you get the polka dots. This one kind of looks like, hmm, I don't know what it looks like, but it's pretty cool. And this one is definitely a masculine one as well. So they are definitely fun embossing folders. And it gives just a little bit of a kick to your card. So I am going to start with a piece of our basic white. And this measures 11 by 4 and a quarter. And I scored it right in half at 5 and a half. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a good crease. And I'm just going to set this to the side. I did put all of the measurements of what we're going to be using um, before I went live, but I will go over it with you. So I have two pieces of our boho blue. They measure four by five and a quarter. And the one that I did run through the embossing folder and the other one is going to just stay plain. And then I have two pieces of our basic whites. This one is four by, I'm sorry, three and three fourths by five. And this one is four and a quarter by three and a quarter. So we're going to do some stamping on this guy first. This is, I wanted to stamp the sentiments first, just in case I needed to flip it over if it wasn't going to be super even. This is, I'm using two of the red rubber and one photopolymer. So knowing my luck is the photopolymer one is going to be crooked, but we are going to try to get the red rubber even. So I'm going to open up my boho blue and I'm going to come in and do some masking. I got this um, post-it note tape off Amazon and that's just what I'm going to be using. You can use scotch tape, kind of really whatever works for you. So I am going to do sending a big honking. So I want to mask off the thanks. So I'm just going to line this up right close to the bottom. And you know what, if it isn't perfect, I am not going to stress about it. But I'm gonna do my best to get it close as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and ink this up, make sure it's good and inked. And now I'm going to take this off, set it to the side, put it on something because that ink is wet. So I'm gonna stand on my tippy toes and I'm just gonna line this up to the top. I think that was the best way I found to do that. Okay, sending a big honking. There's a couple little marks right there, but I am not even going to stress about it. We're going to put some diamonds over it. And then I'm going to bring in the Father's Day, and I'm going to do the same thing. I want to just mask off the top of it. I just want the Father's Day. So there's that. Good evening, Stephanie and Valerie. So I'm gonna ink this up and I'm gonna pull this off and set that to the side. And I got a little bit of ink on the bottom, but I'm just gonna be super gentle with it. So this one, I'm going to come down and kind of just put it towards the bottom. And I'm gonna to try to line up the bottom of my stamp with the bottom of my, oh, that actually turned out pretty good. Then I'm going to take my happy, ink it up, stand on my tippy toes, and try to get this right over the Father's Day. There we go. That actually wasn't too tragic. I thought it was going to be a lot harder than what it was. So there is that. So now I have the little goose stamp, the geese, goose, whatever you want to call them. I'm going to ink this up in the mementos. And I stamped the sentiments first just in case I needed to flip it over. So 
So this, I think, is going to have to go up a smidgen because I don't want it to cover the happy. Okay, super cute. And before I color him in, I'm just going to bring in a scratch piece of paper and reopen my boho blue. And I brought in one of my blender brushes. And I'm just going to pick up a little bit of ink. I didn't want this to be super stark white. So I'm just gonna come in and color a little bit. And it's, if you get it on his feet, it's okay because we're going to color his feet and his beak in. So I just wanted to give this a smidgen of a color. And less is more when you start when you're blending. You can always add more to it, but taking it away, you can't. So you can kind of see I'm kind of going back and forth just to get it as dark as I want it. You can definitely pick up some more ink. And I'm going to kind of rub off a little bit so it's not super dark in one spot. And I am going over the words. I'm going to kind of just squeeze into part of his neck. Do this all around your card. I'm going to go in the center a little bit. There we go. Now he's not super stark white. I think that's all we're going to use the ink for. But I am going to bring this back in just so it doesn't bleed. I have my um, dark pumpkin pie blender pen. And I'm just going to come in and color his feet and his beak. So I'll try to talk as I'm coloring so it doesn't sound like I have fallen off the face of the earth. But it's kind of hard sometimes to talk and color at the same time. You need to concentrate. So there's his feet are almost done. Let's flip them around and we'll do his beak. Now, if you stamp the geese first and then color it in, um, and then do your sentiment and you realize your sentiment's a little crooked, you can't flip it over and use the other side because the blender pins do bleed through a little bit. That's why I put a piece underneath, just so it wouldn't mess up my surface. So there you go. That is kind of how easy this card is to put together. And I thought it was super fun and different. Um, I did bring in some of the boho ribbon. Oh, there it is. And while I was making this card, I put my um, mini glue dots on my desk. And I always say, don't take anything off of your Facebook Live table. But I did. So I'm just going to grab a couple pieces of tear and tape. And this will hold down my ribbon. You could add a bow if you wanted to. I just kind of wanted to keep it a little simple. So that's why I'm just going to wrap some ribbon around. Grab your paper snips. Snip off the edge. There we go. And I'm going to bring in my silicone mat just to lay this down because my, um, my tear tape is hanging off the edge. And I just don't want it to stick to anything. So this guy, I am going to put some mini dimensional or some dimensionals. And I'm going to put one in the center. It's kind of crazy. I'll put five dimensionals on a super tiny piece, but I still put five on a bigger piece. This is going to go right in the center. There we go. And now we're going to work on the inside of the piece. Remember, we still have these two pieces right here. So we're going to take our basic white first. And I wanted to create a little gift card pocket for it to fit in. So I'm going to lift up my trimmer and I'm going to put this down at the three fourths of an inch. And I am. Oh, 
that's the scoring tool. I'm just going to cut from, I don't know, maybe the three fourths inch over to eh, the four and a quarter. That looks pretty good. The, only, the way you can um, judge this is to take your gift card and just make sure it fits. Oh, holy smokes, that fit perfect. I don't think I could have planned that better. Because I obviously didn't on this one. I had to take it and put it back in. You can see it's kind of a little messed up on the edge because I didn't make sure it fit before I glued it all together. So now you can take your adhesive. And I am going to glue the whole top down. Sorry, that glue came out really fast. And I'm just going to kind of do the edge here. You can glue this together. Hold your breath that I didn't use too much and it's going to eke out the edges. It came flying out of that tube. There we go. And then your gift card will fit. If I can lift it up, there we go. Your gift card will fit right inside. Is that not super cute? I love it. Okay, so let's put this on the inside. You still have lots of room to write your sentiments. And you could even use um, the Goosebumps stamp set. I think that's what it says on here. Um, yes, Goosebumps. You could actually put a couple more around here or around the bottom to kind of decorate the inside a little bit. And then we're gonna put this on the outside. So if you need a Father's Day gift, you can definitely go get one of these gift cards and create a fun card. We're gonna let that dry for a second. And I don't know if we should put gems, the rhinestones on a masculine card, but I kind of, like the honking I think should be in the center of the sending a big, uh, of sending a big. And I just wanted like little dot, dot, dots next to it to kind of just fill in that empty space. There we go. That is how cute and easy and fun and different you can do for a Father's Day card. So honking cool dad sending a big honking happy Father's Day. Literally, I don't think I could have planned that any better. So there you go. Thanks, Darlene. Hopefully you guys liked it. It was a super quick Facebook Live. I knew it would be, but I kind of just wanted to show that you don't have to have every single stamp set and you can mix and match to get the sentiment you want, kind of like I did tonight. So thanks for joining me. I will be back Thursday morning for another live. I do work in the evening on Thursday, so I'm going to do it in the morning. If you need anything, please feel free to reach out, and we will talk to everybody soon. Have a great night. Bye-bye.